Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to keep up the fight against Hamas militants on Monday, while Palestinians mourn more than 100 people who Gaza health officials said were killed overnight in Israeli airstrikes. Reuters' Zachary Goldman has more. His remarks come after reports that the leaders of Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist group that governed Gaza, rejected an Egyptian proposal that they relinquish power in the enclave in exchange for a permanent ceasefire. That's according to two Egyptian security sources who spoke to Reuters on Monday. An official from Hamas later denied what the sources said about the talks. The last 48 hours have been particularly deadly. At least 70 people were killed in an Israeli airstrike on the Mughazi refugee camp in the middle of the Gaza Strip. That's Zachary Goldman of Reuters News. And at his annual Christmas Day speech, Pope Francis, through a translator, called for an end to the war between the two parties. I plead for an end to the military operations with their appalling harvest of innocent civilian victims and call for a solution to the desperate humanitarian situation by an opening to the provision of humanitarian aid. Serbian police detained at least 38 people as opposition plans more protests against the election results. Student protester Nikola Ristik. We think we have some uh, some points that uh, show us that there was a lot of people who are not living in Belgrade. Police have warned they wouldn't allow roads or bridges to be blocked in the capital city of Belgrade. President Alexander Vojcik described Sunday's protests as an attempt to overthrow the government with the help from abroad, although he did not specify exactly what he meant. This is VOA News. Jailed Russian opposition politician Alexei Navalny has been tracked down to the Polar Wolf Penal Colony, which lies north of the Arctic Circle. That's according to a spokeswoman on Monday and after supporters lost touch with them for more than two weeks. Reuters' Emma Jelly has more. Spokesperson Kira Yarmish told Reuters that Navalny's lawyer managed to see him on Monday, the first time since supporters raised the alarm about his fate on December 6th. The lawyer uh, saw him today, so he is uh, well, uh, especially given the fact that he was transferred for three weeks to this place. Uh, so this is the information I have right now. Navalny is among the highest profile political figures opposing Russian President Vladimir Putin. He has endured exile, assassination attempts, and now prison. For now, he is held in what is considered to be one of the toughest prisons in Russia. The Polar Wolf was founded in the 1960s as part of what was once the gulag system of forced Soviet labor camps. Emma Jelly of Reuters News. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has hailed the shooting down of two Russian fighter jets on Christmas Eve. In a message marking the first time the country has officially observed the holiday on December 25th rather than January 7th, Zelensky also referred to Ukraine's claimed destruction of three Russian fighter planes on Friday. His upbeat assessment comes amid growing concern about battlefield disappointments and about the future of Western aid for Ukraine's war effort. A charter plane grounded in France for a human trafficking investigation with about 300 passengers has finally left on Monday for India. AP correspondent Julie Walker. Associated Press reporters outside the Vectri airport saw the chartered plane take off after the crew and about 200 other people boarded. Passengers grounded in France included a 21-month-old child and 11 unaccompanied minors. Several passengers requested asylum, according to local officials. The Paris prosecutor's office says two people were detained and are appearing before a judge to face possible charges, including involvement in a criminal group helping foreigners enter or stay in a country illegally. The plane stopped Thursday in France for refueling en route from the UAE to Nicaragua. I'm Julie Walker. Pakistan has extended a Friday deadline for candidates to file nomination papers for a national election by two days. According to the Election Commission, this would allow extra time for former Prime Ministers Imran Khan and Nawaz Sharif to enter the race.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.